Now this has got to be the largest unboxing that we have ever done in the studio. So right inside this box here is the Vivo X80 and I'm really happy and excited to receive this box here because it is a box that you can't even buy in retail outlets even if you want to buy the Vivo X80 5G. And just in case if you're interested in getting a Vivo X80 5G, you can get one from DG for just 97 ringgit a month with Phone Freedom 365 where you get up to 100 gigabytes of data and free unlimited calls. Now let's get on to the box here and find out what's inside. Open Sesame. Alright, so we get a couple of boxes right inside here. The X80 is here, but we will get to the X80 in a bit. So let's just take out the first box right now and see what it really is. Alright, so you get a picture here. This is actually the incident shot film that shot on the Vivo X60 Pro. It is a cutscene from it. That's actually pretty interesting. Alright, so let's just uh, take a look at what's inside. All right, the box opens this way. Okay, we get essential 3-in-1 coffee and a bubble wrap <laughs> and we get tea bags here very nice of vivo and the second box that we are going to take it off right now all right so this is the kita shot film that shot on the vivo x50 pro let's take a look inside it's definitely a lot heavier than the previous one and we are getting a bubble wrap again and we got a vivo X80 series 5G mark here. Pretty nice mark, all right. And we are taking out the third box right now. Easy peasy. This is almost as heavy as the mark box, all right. So this one, we have the Shout It Out short film that shot on last year's Vivo X70 Pro. And let's take a look what's inside right now. Now, this is the interesting one. It is the fast 50 watt wireless charger and Finally, we are getting to the last two boxes here. Let's take out this one. This is definitely a lot smaller than I imagined and it's a light one. And we have the... Alright, it's like a keychain lanyard here of the Vivo X80 series. Pretty nice and that's pretty much about it. And the final box here. Before we get to the X80, alright? This is the last box, I promise, alright? Bubble wrap, be gone. Bubble wrap, be gone. And it is food again. So this is... The Eureka Popcorn Snack. Pretty nice thing. I haven't tried that before, but I'm going to try that in a bit. All right, and finally, we get to the Vivo X80 right here. And let's take a look at what's inside the box of the Vivo X80. All right, let's take a look what's inside the box of the Vivo X80. Now, as you can see, the box is actually pretty similar to the X80 Pro, and I really like this high-quality box with the size branding right over here. Now, let's check out what's inside the box by opening it up. It's definitely a very premium box right over here and look at this i am so excited that i have been given this unit here this is a light blue color unit that's really unique looking definitely a head turner if you use it in the streets and so on and whoa look at this satin finish it feels so good it's not even like a glossy bag that that attracts fingerprints and so on it's a nice light blue satin bag that actually feels really good and premium and we get this really nice camera bump here that's actually quite similar to the x80 pro uh, with the zeiss branding and a triple camera system you don't get a periscope lens with the vivo x80 right now let's uh check out the rest of the contents here so we have another box inside here it's a pretty heavy one which i assume is the charger and headphones and so on so we have the usb-c cable here that supports the fast charging feature and we have wired headphones which is rare on smartphone unboxings these days and finally on the other end here we should be getting the charger there have it this is the vivo 80 watt flash charge charger that we have right here and finally the last box that we got here should be the case here we go the same um light blue case sorry for that that's some paperwork and the same ejector and you get this really nice uh, fox leather case here that will fit well onto the Vivo X80, just like this. All right, we've got the Vivo X80 set up right here, and this is a really nice 6.78 inch AMOLED display that refreshes at 120Hz. And one thing that I really like about the X80 is that it has dual curve sides right over here because that is actually a premium feature that is not available on most non-pro flagships out there as they usually give 
flat screens so if you're a fan of dual curved screens this is it the vivo x80 has it now aesthetically the vivo x80 doesn't feel too different from the x80 pro because mainly they have the same display size and you also get pretty much the same uh, corners as well just, such as this top flat corner here that has the professional photography word and the entire phone is still made with glass and aluminum so there's no uh chip skating of materials right over here this is a premium phone by all means now instead of powered by the snapdragon 8 gen 1 processor the vivo x80 is powered by a mediatek dimensity 9000 5g chip so this is still a flagship chip by all means it's just from mediatek and they have been doing very very good SOCs recently so I definitely can't wait to check out how it performs against the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 in my full review and right on the back over here you get this similar camera bump that is also available on the X80 Pro albeit you do not get a periscope lens right under here so the primary lens is a 50 megapixel f1.8 lens and it is complemented by a 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens not some crappy macro or depth lens and i'm really glad that vivo has not included that like some other flagships out there right so um, these lenses also have the Zeiss T star coating so you get the benefit of shooting in low light by not having any uh, light flares or, or some light shadows around because this glass coating actually resolves all that issue so this is going to be a really nice uh, phone for low light photography and I definitely can't wait to check out how that is as well on top of that, the Vivo X80 also comes with the Vivo V1 Plus ISP that is also available on the X80 Pro. So it skips the MediaTek Dimensity 9000's ISP and goes through the Vivo V1 Plus. So you should be getting pretty consistent images on par with the X80 Pro here. Like the Vivo X80 Pro, the Vivo X80 also features stereo loudspeakers and I'm so happy that Vivo has decided to make that as a priority on the non-pro model of the X80 and it sounds really impressive and here's a sound test of it. Right, and now let's just also do a screen recording right over here to find out what features you get inside the camera app. So the Vivo X80 ships with Funtouch OS 12 running on top of Android 12. But we're not going to talk about the software features today, but rather let's just jump straight into the camera app because this is what the X80 is all about as well. Right, so as you can see, there are a couple of modes right over here that should feel very familiar to you. And if you go over to the more mode, here are the available extended camera modes that the X80 has. Now, of course, the X80 lacks certain modes from the X80 Pro, such as the Super Moon mode, because the X80 doesn't have a periscope lens. But now let's just jump right into the video features here because this is what I'm really keen to find out on the X80. Right, so this is the standard video mode that you're seeing right here. Look at this stabilization, it is so good. There is a built in gimbal into this little uh, camera module over here. It's so impressive that how Vivo managed to fit in a gimbal stabilizer into the lens itself and I've been very impressed with it since the X60 alright so let's just get into the video features here alright let's just tap on this uh, additional features button here so you get framing lines level meter so this is to see whether your camera is on a stable surface or if you're holding your phone uh, in, in sideways right and you do get a film mode which actually lets you film in a 21 by 9 aspect ratio and that's very interesting because you can actually put this on an ultra wide monitor and your video will look great and interestingly if you are a vlogger and you're thinking to get the x80 as a vlogging phone there is a teleprompter mode right over here this is something new that i don't get to find it on even the most expensive flagship android phones in the market like you can actually uh have your scrape or just put in some notes on what you want to say in your video and you can just read through the teleprompter if you want to you do need a separate device and you can simply just put the phone on a tripod and use this teleprompter feature to remember uh to say whatever you need to on your video now in terms of video recording mode let's just turn off this film feature so that we get back to 16 by 9 so in terms of a uh, video shooting resolution you do get 720 1080p and 4k resolution up to 60 frames per second right now of course you do also get uh, some other things such as the, the the video style there's also film LUTs as well so if you are a pro videographer or you have if you have been using a mirrorless camera and shooting in uh, using some LUT profiles color profiles you'll be really interested to know that the vivo x80 comes with 
all these uh, color profiles that you can use on your video and probably shoot it in lock video so that you can color grade it later in post so that's actually pretty interesting all right so if you head on over to the pro camera mode let me just uh, get out of here and head on to the pro camera mode here and tap on the video button you do instantly get into the uh, pro video mode here so you get to adjust your iso your shutter speed white balance uh, manual focusing uh, metering and so on but what's even more interesting here when you get into pro mode you get to choose from more frame rates in 1080p so what's so powerful about the x80s camera in video is that it could go up to 1080p at 240 frames per second which means you can shoot excellent slow-mo videos if, if you actually want to and you, you know having this kind of mode is certainly not possible on many other flagship android phones that i've come across now of course you still get uh, to have 4k uh, video mode on this and the interesting thing here is that you can shoot it in 24 frames per second even though that's not the right frame rate for most vlogging videos because you might not use that frame rate, it looks choppy enough but then this is the frame rate that most movies blockbuster movies use so if you're thinking of shooting a, a movie a short film using your vivo x80 you can most certainly do so because it supports 24 frames at 4k resolution and that's pretty amazing and something that you don't find on an android flagship smartphone right so you do also have some other features such as focus peaking this is actually pretty useful if you're using manual focus note that uh, there is actually a green peaking right over there that shows what the camera is focusing on and there's also exposure feedback like which we call a zebra line in other mirrorless cameras you can see that there's actually a zebra lining at the back of the light over there so yeah i would say that this is a really great videography phone if you're thinking to do some videos on it because it has most of the professional camera features that's built right into the software and I am very impressed with it. So the Vivo X80 retails at 3,499 ringgit in Malaysia and just a reminder if you want to seek for savings you can definitely get a Vivo X80 5G from DG where the From Freedom 365 plan is offering the Vivo X80 from as low as 97 ringgit per month where you get up to 100 gigabytes of data and free unlimited calls that's actually a pretty great offer from dg so that's all for a great unboxing and first look session of the vivo x80 so do stay tuned for the full review coming right up on the channel stay subscribed to us and be sure to leave a comment down below on what you want to know about the vivo x80 and i really really can't wait to switch to this one because of this nice urban blue color that sets it apart from the rest of other flagship phones so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one